believe it. Let's start. Oh, you were like. I know. Don't be worried about me. Good time, crew. We'd like to welcome you. <laughs> Good time, crew. Look. Welcome you with open welcome. arms to come join us for a nice laugh today. Yes, let's all get like a big group hug going on. Yes, for a big like group a hug. Great Although laugh. It's, it's really hot it's in hot. here. I know. I'm about to say it's hot. hot in here. Summertime. You guys have no clue. You know what I'm saying? We in the south. And we're upstairs. <laughs> yeah, it gets hot up here if we don't get the air on. The air's too loud. We can't hear the video. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. Yeah, a look. lot of things going on here. So we found something. We found something. Yes, and maybe it, a gym. It looks classic, okay? And I think it's from the Conan O'Brien show from 1997. Bill Burr stand up. Guys, Bill so, Burr in 1997, and we only found out about him for the first time in 2020. I'm about to say in 2020. Yeah, or 2019. No, no, it's 2020. No, it's 2020. Okay, we can't claim that. Yeah, 2020, we learned about Bill Burr. So, an early stand up set from him we're back in the Conan O'Brien show. Hope you enjoy this classic with us if you've never yes. seen it. Um, so I think excited. it's going to be funny. I wonder how, how, how his style comedy style has changed. changed. Yeah. Yep. Let's check it out. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. How are you? Nice to be here. Um, I'm basically, I'm an easily frustrated individual. Like recently, I went to go buy some t-shirts, right? All I wanted was like one solid color. You know, it took me 20 minutes just to find a t-shirt that was just like one solid color, you know? Because nowadays, all the t-shirts, they have to have like those, like those stupid like balls to the wall sports slogans across them. You know what I mean? They say like, like above the rim, or like life short, play hard. Like it was like some 60 pound dork standing there wearing the shirt going, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm crazy, I got no fear. <laughs> I think you should have the real slogans across these t-shirts like no girlfriend, <laughs> living at home with parents, 83 escort, yeah, <laughs> living large, making four ten an hour, who's the man? <laughs> They're losers. These are the same people, they, they go out and they buy like those Air Jordans in the Shaq shoe thinking it's going to make them like a better hoop player, you know? It's like 150 bucks. I got the Shaq shoe. I'm gonna be awesome, man. I'm like kicking the ball. <laughs> it's like, no, dude, you suck, and now you're poor. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, um, went out with this girl the other night. I got fixed up because I'm a dork, and that's basically how it works. And uh, I don't even know this woman, okay? Don't even know her. And right off the bat. She starts like telling me all these crazy stories about her life, you know? And she keeps making this face at the end of it, right? She's like freaking me out. She's like, oh my God, Bill. You wouldn't believe this, right? This night, I came in late. I didn't think it was any big deal, but my mom was still up. She's like, where have you been? I was like, Have <laughs> <laughs> Ever seen girls do that? I was like, Yes. <laughs> what the hell was that in me? <laughs> She's like ending every story this way the whole day. She's like, God, I'm late today. She was there with a new boyfriend. I was like, It's like freaking out. I'm like, what do I have to do? End my stories with faces? Okay, I was driving to work today. Someone cut me off. I was like. <laughs> it's ridiculous. The whole day she's like, I'm going. Everybody's looking at us like. So I just like brought her home like an hour earlier and her dad was like. <laughs> Way to go, son. <laughs> so anyways, I'm driving home from the state and I'm alone, right? I'm looking around my car, okay? I'm basically, you know, I'm looking around. I got, I'm looking, I got four doors. I got four seats. I got all this space, you know? You know what I realize? I don't need it. You know what I mean? I live alone. I don't need a four-door car. I need like a, like a one passenger, like one door, one little wiper, one little, one little spray thing, you know? Just make the rest a trunk. You know what I mean? But you know what stinks when you only need one? Is everything comes in fours. You know, the other day I went to buy some dishes. What do I get? How much do I get? I get, I get four plates, mm -hmm. get four forks, four spoons, four knives, four glasses. <laughs> buy a table, I get four chairs. You know, all it is is a constant reminder that I'm alone and I'm a loser. <laughs> you know? It's like, wow, look at all the chairs. How come they're all empty? Oh, yeah, I'm alone. All right. <laughs> Tell you, you know what the worst are? Are, 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 uh, are the cookbooks. Cookbooks are the worst because it's always cooking for four. You know what I mean? It's always like, you know, like, you know and I, I can't, I flunk math. So I can't divide a third of a cup by four, so I gotta cook the whole stupid thing. And all the spaghetti. Look at all the spaghetti! Why is there so much food? Oh yeah, I'm alone! I'm a loser. They should have like a loser cookbook. You know? Cooking for one, alone and dealing with it. 
<laughs> recipes be like, take three peas and one carrot, put it in the microwave and cry. <laughs> Yeah, I actually feel the same way. I actually feel the same way. I feel yes, the same way. I know you do. Because when I was cooking, I'm like, I don't, I'm not making it for everybody. I'm just making it for me because I'm, I'm alone. But so you know, you I don't know how to divide it. <laughs> I don't know how to divide the portions. Also, it's just me. I'm like, so, uh, half cup. So it's just me. So I need a. Uh, like, like a fork? Like, uh, like I just used to have. Yeah. Like you said, look at all the spaghetti. <laughs> yeah. And, or I like, just pour a little bit out and it's just like, yeah, this is, so it said I need like two tablespoons, so I'm gonna just like sprinkle this much. Like, yeah. you know what though? The cookbook is the frozen section. That's the cookbook. That's true. That's where people get all their food when they don't cook for a large family. Sometimes we want a home cooked meal. So, as you can see, basically a frustrated guy, you know. I've actually tried to like, look back in my life, see what the source of all my anger is, you know. Can't afford therapy, so I was like, all right, the hell with it. I'll analyze myself, it's cheaper. What the hell? <laughs> so I've actually, I've, I've narrowed this down. Basically, when I was a kid, I used to have like bright orange hair. It wasn't like this reddish brown crap that you see, it was like, it was like bright orange, right? Mm. And I, it was like the 70s, so I had this big afro. <laughs> so I'm walking around like a total loser, but I'm three years old, I just got here, I don't know I'm a loser, right? I'm thinking I'm looking cool, like, all right, yeah. So one day I put on the Brady Bunch. Remember that episode where, where Bobby washed Greg's hair? With, with that really cheesy shampoo? His hair like turns all orange. And he like freaks out, like looks right at the camera. He's like, "Graduation's tomorrow, and I have orange hair." <laughs> I'm like three years old. Going, what the hell's wrong with that? <laughs> My name's Billy Burr. You guys a lot of fun. Thanks a lot. Yeah. He looks so young. It's so, it's, it looks different. I know. Obviously, time. But you know what though? He sounds the same. Oh, and you know who doesn't look different? Freaking this dude, Cody O'Brien, he looks exactly the same. It's true, he does look exactly the same. I thought at first. It's also kind of strange. Like, he really looks the same. I thought he would look different. I'm, he looks exactly the same. Yeah, yeah, I mean, 1997, 20 some years ago. Like. 20, 20 some years ago. Yeah, 20 some years ago. I don't care what the math is. Who's bad at math now? More than 20 How old years. are you? How old are you? I wasn't even How trying to you? do the math. How old are you? Because I don't yeah. care. How old are you? <laughs> well, like 30 years ago? Like 40 years ago. Anyway, you Bill guys, Burr. You guys, you got to watch our family guy to understand an inside joke. Bill Burr, man, it's very interesting to see how his comedy styles have changed. You know, I think, obviously, he was saying that. And this is more so probably the beginning of his career there in the early 90s or mid 90s. Yeah. So it's not like he went all oh, no, I had you out right there. <laughs> I know, you passed it to me. That was so weird. But it's not like he, it is now. Yeah. And he went on SNL mm. and hosted, and he went oh. on that rant, and people were like, oh my gosh, who's this guy? Who's yeah. Like this crazy stuff. You know what I think it is, too? I think maybe at that time, he needed to be a little bit more friendly. Yeah. You know what I mean? To build that audience, because you can't start off being like a douchebag. You know what I mean? When you're trying to get women on your side. Well, like, I didn't say he was a douchebag. You said that, but. No, no I don't think he's but a yeah, douchebag. But yeah, you can't have those same, things. you can't have those same ideas, yeah. Yeah, and then plus he's lived a lot of life since then. I think he's kind of at the point where he's like, you know what, people annoy me, and yeah. this is why. And now he's like, hey, driving your fancy SUV. With your heated what? seat. <laughs> so that's what he's talking about. He's like, your life must be difficult with your Starbucks cup. And so I that, know. so the things that he says now is a lot more relatable, are a lot more relatable yeah. and a lot different. But and that was, was a good introduction to him, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not saying this was the introduction, because I know somebody will correct me on that. Yeah, I mean, that's our introduction, but, hey, basically. Yeah, this is the oldest thing we've this seen. This is the oldest thing we've seen of him, yeah. All right, guys, so let us know in the comments. Like, subscribe, yes. comment, do all that good stuff, and uh, we'll see you next time.